Hi guys, I'm just passing along information that I just learned. I'm not going to be reading the entire article, Wi-Fi Radiation, How to Protect Yourself. I will link below to it, um, but I do want you to see one thing. If you haven't seen these pictures of frequencies, Wi-Fi, that the photographer uses a particular device, can you imagine if if we could actually see the frequencies that we are now saturated in, maybe people would take seriously that mm, perhaps it's dangerous. Look at this. All of these frequencies entering your body, affecting every cell. Yes, we are electromagnetic beings. And yes, every cell in your body transmits communication via electrical signals and those electrical signals are being disrupted by what you're looking at the frequencies oh boy and it's very very dangerous so uh, did you uh, uh, this is another piece of information Wi-Fi in schools gives off three times as much radiation as cell towers Wow they are really just irradiating the kids. Here, this video. ...have expressed concern about the potential harmful effects from the Wi-Fi or wireless internet at the Callis School. <laughs> if you weren't aware of it, Wi-Fi emits the same kind of microwave radiation as cell phones. The difference is that with a cell phone, the radiation exposure is limited to the time that the phone is in use, whereas with Wi-Fi, the radiation is continuously emitted. Many have considered cell phones as potentially harmful, as we've been hearing reports in the news of possible increased cancer risks. But Wi-Fi? How much radiation does it even put off? Well, in this video, we're gonna actually take a look and measure how much there is at the Callis School and how much the children would be exposed to every day. A growing body of scientific research indicates that the radiation emitted from cell phones and other wireless devices creates adverse biological effects. There are literally thousands of studies that show such effects as permanent DNA damage, increased risk of cancer, damage to the reproductive system, heart and circulatory issues, weakening of the blood-brain barrier, changes to melatonin levels, thyroid disruption, neurological and behavioral problems, decreased cognitive function, which could impair learning, and many other neurodegenerative diseases. It, you might be thinking at this point that this is sounding alarmist. And okay, it's not. Um, it's true. It's factual. And I just realized that I did a video and included this video in a video video that I did a couple of months ago and I completely forgot. So what this man does is he goes along and he tests the frequencies at, um, at a public building and then he goes into a, a school and tests the frequencies and what he learned was the frequencies are so unbelievably high at schools. It doesn't really surprise me. It shouldn't surprise anybody who understands that they also are using these frequencies to mind control the population. And they certainly do want to mind control the kids. Anyway, um, I will link below to this video, but yes, these children are every single day, Monday through Friday, for long periods of time, sitting in incredibly dangerous classrooms where their physical, mental, spiritual, cognitive health is being destroyed. All right, um, Wi Fi radiation protection tips. Wi-Fi routers. Most people just use the Wi-Fi router that is provided to them by their telecommunications provider. Well, those routers are not safe. 
Apparently the JRS Echo Wi-Fi router is far more safe, the JRS Echo Wi-Fi router is actually a package and it's composed of a router and software and this router uses software that has a very low electromagnetic frequency functionality. Um, the classic or standard Wi-Fi routers are putting out 10 pulses per second, whereas the JRS Echo Wi-Fi router is putting out one pulse per second. And these pulses are extremely, extremely dangerous. Can you hear that? It's going right into your body. Affecting your own natural electromagnetic frequency. Changing it. Okay, there is your demonstration. So, no doubt the JRS Echo Wi-Fi router is more expensive. But if you can afford it, get it. You're, you will absolutely be safer for it. Now, I had no idea. Use the right Ethernet cable. Your Ethernet cable is a cable that links your modem router to your PC. It provides you with a hardwired internet connection. Most people don't give this cable a second thought, which I didn't. Um, they're using cables which come with the modem, the router that is provided, you, provided to you by your telecommunications provider. You cannot trust your telecommunications provider to give you anything safe. So, Apparently, the cable that you should be buying is at least the Category 6A SSTP, the Screened Shielded Twisted Pair, that Ethernet cable. And I wanted to see if there was a difference between uh, the look of these cables, and apparently there is not. So, this is a Category 6A cable, SSTP, which looks like an ordinary cable. But if you are using the cable that came with the hardwired connection, then look into buying a 6A SSTP. He actually says you should get at least a 6A SSTP. And apparently the Ethernet cable that is not at least a 6A SSTP is also emitting frequencies. I didn't know that. Disable wireless function on all of your devices. So many people who have Wi-Fi, who get rid of the Wi-Fi, think that all they have to do is turn off the Wi-Fi on their computer, you know, where you have that choice on, off, well, one, I want to say, you need to check that periodically. You may think off is your default. They change defaults. And you need to contact your telecommunications provider because there is a special code that the telecommunications provider uses to shut off Wi-Fi that's coming into your home. And if you haven't done that, do it. But you also have to check that periodically because they can turn the Wi-Fi back on without your consent, without your knowledge. And they did it to me. Great Barrington, I wanted hardwired connection. I didn't even know what Wi-Fi was. Then I wanted the hardwired. They kept trying to push, push Wi-Fi on me. I said, look, you're not going to convince me to get Wi-Fi. Just give me the hardwired connection. I didn't even know what a Wi-Fi router looked like, what it was. I thought I was just getting a hard, 
uh, hardwired connection. I had a Wi-Fi router. And Verizon turned the Wi-Fi on without my consent, without my knowledge. And when I realized that it was on, I called, very upset, and they walked me through how to turn it off. So, that's the information that I wanted to provide to you. But yes, swap, swap wireless for wired. It's getting harder. They're going to do away with any hardwired connection. We are moving rapidly into this, this Wi-Fi world. So, best get your Ethernet cable now, a 6A SSTP cable, before you can't get it at all. But there's more information on here, so I will link below to this article. Ciao, guys.